Welcome back to a very miserable day on the boat. Yeah, Jim was miserable today. So. <laughs> the, but the wind's really bad, but what we've done, we've invested. Did you hear it if I knock it? In some microphones. Yeah, we're doing a lot more outside work now, so yes. we thought we'd better try and improve the sound quality for you guys. So, yeah. um, let us know what you think, and is it worth faffing around with little mics? There's going to be another set of problems, isn't it? <laughs> what, when you leave your mic on and go for a wee and I'm filming and the camera yeah. picks it up? Oh, I'm cursing her. <laughs> right, let's go back to work. I'll have to just be sort of like, under my breath, like, idiot. <laughs> right, okay, so last time we made these sort of wedgie shaped bits, didn't we? Yeah. Well, no, we made one of them. The other one was in the van, so the other one's not in the van now, it's here, so we've got to go and make it fit the other side. Right, let's go. Idiot. <laughs> So before we can fit them and paint that, I need to give all that sealant a good clean up. Okay, so these all fit now they have to fit now underneath the string on this side because on the other side there's the horse pipe and there's no string there what i did do though is made a slight error if you notice on the on the original on the pieces of wood we we initially marked it just to sort of in the workshop and i cut down the wrong mark don't i but it's okay because the piece still fits it's what the epoxy's for isn't so it so we've recovered it and it's got a nice angle on it so it's fine right so what we need to do is get these painted and then we can glue them up and insert them Paint your boat time! Right then, so I have pre-wetted our joints, our lap joints, is that what they're called? Um, I'm just making up, mixing up some thickens epoxy now, so then when we fit them together, we can put some thickens into. And the water's coming in, so what we need to do is hustle a bit really, because I've got the ladder, because I'm going to work off the ladder, um, and hopefully the water doesn't take us away. But. We're quite excited to have water because we haven't had any water for about two weeks and we've got loads of rubbish to remove off the boat. Not the best weather to do it in, but we need to get it done. It's like you're bringing me some food. <laughs> no food, just epoxy and wood.
think we did really that much. Yeah. Okay, not too bad. That looks beautiful. All right, let's go through some screws in now before the water comes in. You over enough? No. Okay, I've got my work boots, I want to just get snagged on everything. So I want the drill with a four mil on it first. So it's gonna shoot. What am I doing this one so I can get rid of this clump but it's mud is in the way of Okay, so I've got to go through here. Now we need the countersink. Oh, it's still over there, so We need some drills with countersinks. Them, them ones are crap. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, it's going to be like this for a minute, but we'll do a load of drilling in a minute. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, she's looking good. Is she? Yeah. It'll look even better like when the other side's in, won't it? Yeah. So the water's coming in and before it's before we're actually stuck on the boat, we need to go over and get the little boat. You got your car keys? Yep. Right, let's go. <sighs> You're going to snag yourself up doing that one day and hurt yourself. <laughs> well, you do it. No. Well, I'm going to do jump. the sensible jump. way. No, I'm not. I would if I was you. No, I will. <laughs> no, I will go flying. <laughs> oh, the water's coming. Spurlash. <sighs> so next time we come back, she'll be floating. She hasn't been floating for ages. I love it when she floats. She's alive then, isn't she? She's doing a job of a boat and not this piece of, like, Junk stuck in the um, mud. Where's my oar? I know it's on the boat. <laughs> it just gets snugged on them stupid sailboat things in the middle. I was help you, but it's quite funny, just... <laughs> there we go. I know you take your boat for a walk. And your anchor. Yeah. 
It's a great little boat, this, because, you know, the size of it, we can fit loads of rubbish in it. But it's that actual, it's so heavy, just to actually manoeuvre it is a bit of a pain. Are you getting stuck? Give me a good kick, my ass. Right, so I've got some stuff to take over. That's it. Right, move the van before it um, floats yeah. away, and I better go and grab the boat. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> We're going in by hand. Yeah, just one move at a time. Um, Let me come in. Yeah, 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 come on. Yeah. So if you drag us backwards off them ones. I might be able to get some propulsion, actually. Uh, I think this one might be stuck on the... Oh, yeah. yeah. We've got too many lines on the boat. Well, it's because we've, we've, we've flopped them over. Oh, yeah. Right, can I... I need to go and reach for that one, but I don't want to sink us, so you just sort of balance us a bit. Okay, oh, good. And now, I should be able to pull us around that way. And hopefully that Yeah, pass thing... me that black line now. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, don't pull. It's just too many lines to even try and come in that way. Well, it's because we've changed. Them lines aren't normally like that. Yeah. Oh well, lesson learned. All right, you um, you stay still. I'm going to climb out, yeah. So we might get a bit bumpy. Windy. Took it out my hand then.
Uh, so we've got a nice surprise for Gemma. We're going to be moving these batteries. Fit about 60 kilos each. So get a nice hook on it. Yeah. All right, we've got to do a quick test lift. Yeah. You ready? One, two, three. Okay. Okay, that was easier than I thought. No one died. Do you think with these mics now you get more of our moaning noises? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was constant with you. <laughs> Shut out you. Don't know whether it'll fit out the door, you know? You get handle, I'll get handle. Um. Yeah. It's half the door for him. <laughs> Didn't want that bit, did we? sent us these binoculars to do an honest review on uh, so these are the MV200 binoculars and I thought they'd actually be quite good in the future you know like when you're out on a boat and you're looking for a boy or something but what's really good about them is that you can actually record and it's got like a laser thing which it tells you how far away things are so should we go and find out how far away these boats are from us so the white boat with the little red boat next to it is 71 meters away the closest boat to us is 61 meters away so i think the video quality would be a lot better if obviously this is on a fixed tripod instead of me holding it in the winds and it's dead shaky um i haven't got a tripod <laughs> But not that posh. But I think I've got one at home, so I might give this a, a few more tries. But I think this will come in quite handy in the future, you know, like when, when you're lost at sea and you're like, where's that marina that I'm going to? <laughs> so, worth try. I'll drop a link in the description if you want to go and check them out. Look, it's got like a laser on as well. You see that? Ooh. So that's what does the, um, the distance. You know what I want to use them for? When we're out on a boat, I want to be able to like find dolphins and then if you find dolphins you can record them and then use it in your footage, can't you? What about when you're fishing you could see if what other people are catching? Ooh. Yeah. Or I could just them. become a spy. <laughs> <laughs> cool, right. Awesome. Um, obviously we haven't tested them loads. Um, but from straight out the box they were quite simple to use. Um, I'll put some of the footage in as well, so you can see what it's like. And yeah, they, they're not too heavy. Obviously they would be better on a tripod, especially if you're using them for video. But just think of all like the long range video that you could capture that you don't usually. And it films sort of 4K in 120 frames per second. Quite good going for a pair of binoculars. Right, so we've filled the little boat up now with rubbish. We've got everything ready to put the other triangle shaped piece in on the bow, but we've got loads of water still. And the other thing we can really do with the water is give the engines a quick run, can't we? So I'm going to give the engines a quick run for a bit. We keep doing this randomly when the water's high, because obviously I always want to sort of keep the engines moving, keep the oil going around them, so give them a quick blast.
Well, that's one down. Two down. It's amazingly quiet, but raw. I think there could be more water, but there's no point in changing the the impellers just yet, is there? Until we go, so but we've got enough to cool the engines, haven't we? So there you go, a little quick engine run there. Just basically, we, we do do that quite a lot. Um, just to basically, just just keep the engine moving. Um, you saw how easy this they fired up on the button. You know, like you can leave them a long time and they just fire straight up. So they're, they're good, strong motors. There will be a full video at some point. We're going to do a lot more engine work. Um, as you know, they've got some issues with the engines and stuff like that. Um, but apart from that, yeah. Until then, um, we'll leave that. The water's going away now, so hopefully we can get on to putting the other wedgie-shaped piece in at the front. I'm going to do the rubbish removal, aren't we? Forgot about that. Central line, but we'll see what happens. Full of rubbish, time to put the boat back. Okay, so we've done our rubbish run, parked the boat up, just got back to Sorinda, and oops, still a bit moist. <laughs> Do you want to go first and see how deep it is? Let me know if I'm gonna drown. Still got my life jacket on though, so I'm fine. Oh, we're doing good, we're all right. Just that hole at the very back, isn't it? Just, just sort of hold onto the rope. I'm just scared of falling down the big hole at the back. <laughs> oh. It's getting okay. close to you. It's um, getting a bit deep now, isn't it? It well is. <sighs> yeah. There we go. We made it. That's a successful trip, that. 
something really bad just happened. I've just been cleaning my glasses as I do, like just on my hoodie. And as I was cleaning them. What was you cleaning with a grinder? <laughs> no, I was literally just like that on my top, cleaning my glasses. And they just come apart of my hands. So, they're the only pair I've got. <laughs> So, That's fun. does anyone remember <laughs> Jack Duckworth from Coronation Street? Can they have some sticky tape on? So, the sticky tape mask off, and I'm going to have to go and try and order a new pair of glasses, aren't I? Well, isn't going to be like that. <laughs> I can't. Literally, I understand if I was like, if I'd stood on them or bent them, but I was just literally cleaning them. Right. Just glasses fixed time. Oh, it doesn't even stay up. Wow. So we have become a bit more evolved from the Jack Duckworth era of masking tape on glasses. So will it work to put some epoxy on them? So I'm in the chick magnet again. Maybe we need to close the door. Really? Okay. Oh, we haven't checked the, uh, the nest. The nest. There's birds in it. Is there? Yes. There's chicks in it. I can't see, there was any birds in there. Well, let me just go back and replay the footage of that. I've got three chicks in there. That looks like they're not long hatched because they're all little pink and they're cute. And I think there's another two eggs still to go. So we will keep an eye on that. But yeah, there you go. We are bird, are we bird parents, grandparents? So oh, I feel like I need to go and feed them. No, don't feed them. <laughs> feed the mums. Might bring them a treat next time I'm down. <laughs> right, I don't know whether that'll work, but... See what happens after that epoxy goes off. <laughs> right, time to fit the other side now. All the glue's mixed up. My ladder's in place. Still windy as anything. So there we go, two more big blocks of wood added into the boat. Does anyone actually know what these are called? Because we don't. We just call them the big block thingies. So come back next time to see us change some more planks and move on to the beam shelf. That should be fun, shouldn't it? Thank you all so much for watching. See you all next week. So I know the question on everyone's minds now is, Gemma, did you manage to fix your glasses? Yes! <laughs> Got old epoxy for the win, but I have ordered myself a new pair because, um, yeah, they're full of epoxy and everything anyway. <laughs>